Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Boring Objects. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. The objection, objection, the object of this Boring Objects podcast is to talk boringly about stuff, choosing a particular topic to focus on during that recording. And in the process, you can relax and maybe even pop off to sleep if you choose to do so. Because whilst you're listening to my voice, I guess it's kind of a distraction from other things, which means you can just let go and you're no longer focusing on the stuff that you was focusing on before and when you focus on my boring voice you may or may not notice that the, your mind starts to slow down and those thoughts that were there before tend to just drop away. Like friends of a lottery winner once all the money's been spent. Dropping away one by one. But I used to be so popular. Yes, because you used to have money, mate. Oh, where were all my friends gone? Well... They've spent your money for you, haven't they? There's no more left to spend. And they've probably gone to try and uh, leech off of somebody else. Oh. Perhaps I should buy another lottery ticket. Yeah, that's the solution. Or you could uh, you know, work on <laughs> creating a personality for yourself. Well, it's a bit rude. Yeah, probably. Sorry. Okay. Should we get back to the podcast? Yeah, okay then. So, today I'm going to talk about pizza. PPP pizza. Now, I've been a fan of pizza for a long time. And there's various different pizzas that you can get. Not all the pizza places are the same. Um, I guess one of my favourite pizzas is the Pizza Hut. But there isn't a Pizza Hut around here that does deliveries. So I get deliveries from Domino's Pizzas when I do get a delivery. Although there is a couple of other places where I can get pizzas from as well. Not that I'm regularly buying pizzas. But pizzas are one of my favourite fast food takeaway delivery category foods. And my favourite flavour is sweet corn and pineapple. And that's been my favourite flavour since I was a kid. Since I was, I don't know, 16, 17. When I started getting takeaways. You know, because I was living on my own. Living on my own. And... There used to be this co 
kebab shop not far from where I lived and I used to go in there and I used to get on quite well with the owner of the kebab shop and he used to make nice pizzas considering it was a kebab shop he, the pizzas were nice and he used to make me these huge pizzas and I would have a pizza and some maybe a bottle of coke or something like that and I didn't have pizza very often I mean but when I did oh I used to really enjoy it one of my fondest memories was 1987 and it was it was an election uh, you know for the Prime Minister it was election time and it was the actual election night and I'm pretty sure it was about October November time and I'd worked all day but for some reason I wanted to stay up all night and watch the election and watch the election results as they came in because I'd never done it before so this was something that for some reason I was looking forward to and it's something that I've kept up as a tradition most of my life I think there was at least one time when I couldn't do that because of the job I had and I was starting work really early or maybe I had night shift and that would have been the early 90s election I don't think I was able to sit up for that one but I definitely sat up for the 97 election I sat up all night for that and then I'm not sure when the next one was after that early 2000s I would have sat up for that one and probably the next one 2010 I definitely sat up for all night and then 2014 I think it was 2015 and then the 2000 and was it well, I can't remember was it la no the year before last 2019 election so I sat up most all night long watching the election and the election results eating pizza And sometimes, just for amusement, I'll put a mirror, a big full-length mirror, opposite me so I can watch my belly grow bigger. Yum, 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 yum. So that's, that's kind of been a tradition in my life, being part of what I do, something that... I guess it's it's a tradition that I have started. Thinking about it, yeah, I remember the last election because I had a pizza. So I ordered a big pizza from Domino's. And one of my neighbours came round. And I was like, well, you and this is probably about 9 o'clock in the evening 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock and he just, he just sat there 
And he said, I didn't come round to eat your pizza. I said, well, just as well, because you're not having any. And he, I think he got a little bit annoyed with me. And I gave him a bit, you know, I gave him a bit of pizza. And he said, I don't feel you have to give me any. I said, I said, oh, no, I don't. I just don't, don't think we were connecting on that day. We weren't, the, the conversation wasn't running smoothly. But I just found it a little bit annoying because, and I, and I didn't want to be rude, but he was interrupting my tradition. And my tradition is to have a huge pizza Lots of drinks and stuff. Not usually alcoholic. Normally just soft drinks. And. Sit. Maybe. Maybe. Do something else at the same time. You know. Work on the website or. Do something but. Have the television on. And watch the. Uh, you know the. The whole night. From, I don't know, nine o'clock in the evening till maybe six or seven in the morning. Until the the final results. Or not the final results usually because sometimes it takes a couple of days for the last people to come in. But to the point where they know who's won. And this is something that I've been doing for years and years and years eating a pizza and watching the election and some may think oh that's a diff that's a bit of a strange strange combination and my answer to that is what's it got to do with you you live your life, I live my life. I don't see how me watching the election whilst eating pizza affects you in any way. Why would you even feel the need to comment? And that person may say, well, I was just, I was just saying, you know, I didn't, didn't mean any harm. I just thought I'd just say it. And I would and I would reply, well, why did you feel the need to say it? I mean, do you have nothing else going on in your own life that you need to focus on what I'm doing on election night? I mean, if you got an issue where you prejudiced against pizza eaters, and they might say they might say yes, but they might say no. I'm not. A, I'm not. I'm not a got an issue with people that eat pizzas I just was wondering why you do the same thing every election night and possibly my reply to that would be were you talking about it as if it's every week elections are generally every three or four years sometimes five years depending so it's hardly regular is it it's hardly uh, it's not like I've got some kind of habit going on. I mean, this is maybe three times in a decade. Two to three times a decade that this will happen. And they might say, oh, okay, okay, calm down. I was just saying, I didn't expect this kind of conversation to occur when we started this discussion about pizza and I might respond well now you know and maybe in the future you can keep your opinions to yourself because this is my life and I'll I'll live it however I want and I don't need to ask your permission 
at at this point, the person might say, oh, come on, relax. You know, this wasn't supposed to be a serious conversation. We were just, I was just talking about, like, just questioning, just, just mildly interested in why you would choose to have the same topping on your pizza on erection nights. And I, I would say, do you mean election nights? Or are you saying erection nights just to try and be mildly humorous? And they'd probably admit to it saying, yeah, I, I said erection. I know the, the words election. But if I, I thought if I, if I said er, erection, it would, um, it would be hilarious. And of course I'd go back and say, well, it was hilarious. I do appreciate your, your input and the effort that you have, um, brought forth into this, this arena of discussion regarding, uh, certain, uh, eating aspects and processes of pizzas being eaten during the election and I think at some point it would start to get a little bit confusing about who's saying what and why? This might start to get a little bit strange. Which is okay, I guess. Because it doesn't have to be all serious all the time in fact maybe taking a break from seriousness might be beneficial to just different people Depending on their circumstances. So pizzas. I like pizzas. But there was a time. When. All pizzas. Just seemed to be thick crust. And I didn't want thick crust. I wanted thin crust. But now. I seem to. Move the other way. And I prefer. I prefer the crispy ones. The big. The thicker crust to thin crust providing because there is a caveat on this preference I love the pizza to be crispy you know when you bite into it and it it goes, oh, okay, well, the pizza doesn't go all, oh, but my, my senses go, hmm, that's nice, and the crunchiness in between my teeth, it gives me a sense of, it's a sense of well-being, 
really, really does. So Yeah. And there's a plane going past. I don't know why. Well, I know why, because it's in the sky. But I don't get we don't get many planes around here. We do get helicopters, but not many planes. We have cars as well. So, trying to think of other times where I have had pizzas. There was a period before I moved here, and I didn't really have much in the way of cooking facilities there was a tiny little camping oven and stove which wasn't big enough for anything well nothing big only small items could fit into that oven But what I used to do, because I had this job, and on a Saturday evening, if I was working, I would go to Asda, which you might not know what it is. It's a, it's a supermarket. And everyone that works there has to wear a luminous green, like snotty clothes. It looks like a luminous snot. Um, and it's, it's quite well known for being fairly decent value. So, at the time, what I would do is get some general shopping for the week ahead. And for myself, I would get myself a big pizza. But I don't know how I cooked it. That's the thing. I can't remember. I think I might have had to uh, cut it up and put it into the, put half of it in the oven and the other half in the refrigerator. Unless I didn't get a really large one, I just got a small one. Which would have worked just as well. Or better because it would have actually fitted in the little camping stove oven thingy and I would sit there and I'd have that to eat and it's nice Hmm. 
Yeah, I used to. Sometimes I would get a Domino's delivered. And they used to do this special discount. And the pizza would cost me just £10 for a large sweet corn and pineapple pizza. Just £10. I was very pleased with that. It just seemed like a very good deal. And they kept that deal up until I moved. And I moved further away from where they are delivering. ones I got from Aldi or Asda, they weren't sweet corn and pineapple, they were, I think, mushroom and something else, cheese, definitely cheese, because uh, I remember when I was at school, I made a pizza in cooking class, and we used tomato puree on top of the base of the pizza. You know, the, the, not the plastic, the, the pastry, that's it. The dough, the dough. And then I think we would post, the post, we would, uh, as I say, present, we would present to the pizza some cheese. So chuck some cheese on, sprinkle it on, and then some other toppings. And that would be dinner. I'd have to take it home and we'd eat that for our dinner. Just after cooking for a couple of hours in the afternoon, two or three hours. I didn't really want to go anywhere near the pizza. On those days, I think it was a Tuesday or a Thursday, or it might have been a Friday or Wednesday. It was a week day, and as I said, whatever I cooked, that would be our dinner. And on those nights, people always, you know, in the house, always suddenly found themselves busy and having to go out. That's it, really. Talking about pizzas, I kind of want one now. But I don't want one that is, uh, you know, very uh, flat. And I don't want a curvy one or one like a building. Uh, but I just want, I like one that's nice and crunchy. Like a pizza hut. Mm. 
this is a long, long way to go. In fact, I don't know where there is a Pizza Hut. They're so tasty. So, I think it's the crispiness that I like. I like the, you know, biting into it. Like, I can't do the sound. I'll try. This is the sound of biting into it. Admittedly, it sounds like an ant sneezing, but it was... It was my attempt at the impression of a pizza, a crunchy pizza, a slice. And you pick it up and you put it in your mouth and it's just, it's not all about the topping. It's also about the, type of pizza. I don't mind mushrooms as well. But there's something about the sweet corn and pineapple that I just really like it. I think uh I'm gonna go now. <laughs> 